Hey guys, my name is Himmel and you're watching Techno Right. What's going on guys? Welcome to Techno Right where technology is done right. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to apply custom skins and uh, change the icons in Rocket Dog. So it's very, very simple process. Let me walk you through it. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So firstly, um, open your browser. I'm going to take you into a really fantastic website. Okay, so this website is called Deviant Art. The link will be in the description below. The only thing about this website, you need to create an account. Okay, so please, please, please create an account. It's free and it's fast. Okay, just go and create an account. I've already done that. Okay. So now what you're going to do when you already arrive at this website and you already created an account, you're going to go to search. Okay. In search, you're going to type in rocket dog skins. Okay. Search that. Okay. And you can see an ample amount of skins will appear to you. Okay. I mean, there's like a lot. Okay. There's even a skin for invisible. It's just invisible. There's no dog and it looks amazing. Okay. So you guys can choose anything. Okay. So I'm just going to like scroll down, just see something that I like. Okay. I like this. Okay. It's noche, notch, notch, something. Okay. So we're going to click on download here. Okay. There's a download. It only allows you to download if you log in. So please, please, please create an account. Okay. So now we're going to open this file. Make sure you have WinRAR installed to open the file. Okay, so there's two files here. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to um, just use two both files. So we're going to right click on both. So you're going to control, hold your control button on your keyboard and click both. Right click, then you're going to cl click on extract to a specified folder. Okay, click on that. And then I'm going to do it here itself. It's more easier. Okay. So you're going to go into your C drive. Okay. And you go to program files x86. Okay. And then you can see here it says rocket dog. Okay. Go into that. And then go into skins. Okay. Click on the skins and click OK. Yes. And it should extract the file into this one, into the skins folder. But if you're not sure on what I did, just did, just going to click on this too. Okay, I'm just going to show you again. Extract it to your desktop first. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your file explorer, go into uh, your C drive, program files x86, rocket dog, skins. Okay, and then just copy this two over. Okay, it's simple. So you can see I've already have the files here. Okay. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to close this. You can delete this also. Okay, so now you're going to go to your dock, rocket dock, and then you're going to see it says dock settings. Click on that. Okay, and then go to your style tab here, and you can see theme. Click on that and find for the theme you install. I have the both is here. Okay, so I'm going to click on this, and you can see it changed. So you can have both. Oh, okay. So one of it has this like sides which doesn't look nice, but the other it doesn't look more sleek and looks like a bottom like a table like it's on a table so it looks really cool. So that's on how to install like custom dog skins. So now let's go for the icons. Okay, so we are going to go back into Divine Art. Okay, we're going to search for um, custom Windows 10 icons. Okay, we're going to search that. Okay, and there are a lot. I mean like a lot of icons, guys, to choose from. Okay. So you can see I keep on scrolling and there's a lot of icons. It looks really, really cool. There's even folder icons, okay. Okay. So we are just going to choose one just for an example ok 
Okay, so I'm going to choose um, simple icons. Okay, it looks simplistic. Okay, there's dark mode and there's uh, just the normal white mode thing. So we're going to download this. And bear in mind guys, these icons are not only for Rocket Dock. You can even change the icons uh, in your desktop. If you have desktop icons, you can just replace the icons with this and it'll look way more cooler than your actual icons. So I think this icon pack is pretty huge and it take, it's taking a while. So let it download and I'll uh, get back to you guys. Okay guys, and I am back. So the file has been downloaded. So we're going to open it. Okay, as you can see, it says Mac OS X and simple icon save for Windows. So there's a lot of ICO files and there's dark mode right here. Okay, so I'm only going to take out the Windows file. I'm going to keep it here. Okay, so you can see all the icons will be able to be displayed right now. So you can see it says Google Chrome and all that. And dark mode, you can see it looks really, really, really really cool okay so we are going to change the icons here now so you can see I'm going to change my Google Chrome I'm going to hover over my Google Chrome right click on it okay and then go to icon settings click on that okay and then we're going to click on this add button so you're going to add a directory so find the folder that you have just extracted so it's in my desktop we're going to click on Windows and click OK okay so once it's there once it's here, just click on that and all the icons will open. Okay. It looks really cool. So you're going to click on Google Chrome, the icon that I want to put and click OK. You can see it's changed. I mean, the quality doesn't look really good. So you can try to find a different um, icon pack. So for now, I'm just going to roll with this where I'm just showing you an example on how to do it. Okay. So I also want to use the dark mode icon since it looks really cool. So what you're going to do, you're going to right click again on any icon, click on icon settings and you're going to add another file. Go to the desktop, open the windows folder and it has a dark mode. Okay, click on that. And you can see the dark mode folder is here. So we're going to change theme. And um, also telling you guys, the icon doesn't need to be what it is. You can take um a uh, mail icon and put for steam okay it doesn't matter you can use any icon okay so i'm just going to use discord's icon for steam okay that's really low quality stuff okay but looks cool though looks different okay so let's change our recycle bin settings uh recycle bin icon so you're going to right click click on rocket dock then go to icon settings okay so for recycle bin, it's a bit special. You have two options. When one is when it's empty, another when it's full, okay? So we're going to go to empty, we're going to go to the dark mode, and we're going to find for the empty icon. So you can see here, it says trash empty. We're going to click on that, okay? That's when it's empty. So we're going to do again for when it's full. So when trash is full, we we'll click on this icon, okay? So it shows, so if I empty this, and you can see the stuff was on top, they just disappeared. So that's how to customize skins, guys, on Rocket Dog. So basically, that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions or any other problems, please put them down in the comments below. And I think, yeah, that's about it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.